CataractCoach.com, which career path will you choose? You want to be an expert surgeon or a competent surgeon? I first learned about this from my friend, Professor Milton Yoji from Sao Paulo, Brazil. So we're going to play a routine case here in the background, but we're really focusing on this graph in the bottom right corner. So which career path do you choose? We have three lines there. The blue is the dropout line. The red is the competent surgeon. And then the green there is the expert surgeon. Well, there's a big difference. You see, the dropout surgeon, just within a couple of years, hits that frustration barrier in trying to learn surgery. The surgical skill is not easy to develop. And this doctor just quits, drops out, switches to a different specialty, goes into business, doesn't practice medicine, something different. But let's say you get past the frustration barrier. You've got two choices here. You've got the competent surgeon who is okay. And this is a surgeon who, whatever was learned in residency, will continue to do for the rest of the career. And this is a stagnant option because the skills don't really advance, new techniques aren't learned, new skills are not developed. And this is a surgeon who, yes, technically is competent, that's a good enough surgeon, but that surgeon is stuck in that zone of mediocrity. And then finally, you've got the expert surgeon who continues to learn, advances techniques, learns about new technology, and continues to get something from every single surgery. And every year, even 10, 20, or more years after training, continues to learn more and more. So if you look now, that surgeon has passed what's called the passion barrier. So gone past just being a competent surgeon, but having a passion for his or her craft, wanting to learn more, wanting to be better, give better options for the patient, takes pride in his or her work, and wants to truly give the highest possible level of surgical care to his or her patients. So well past the zone of mediocrity. Now, if you look at the top here, we see the different zones of time, five year, 10 year, 15 years, and beyond. The first five years, the blue block there is, that's what you're learning during your residency training, and you learn a lot. But even your first five years in practice, that orange zone, you'll learn even more. And then, after 10 years, of ophthalmology, you'll really start enjoying the tough cases. You'll look for the challenging ones. You'll ask your colleagues who aren't as driven to please send over the difficult cases, and it'll be a source of pride for you. And you'll learn so much more, even though your training was 10 years ago. And then finally, the green zone there, you'll be in the master of surgery. This is where you're truly an expert. You still continue to learn. You still advance your techniques. You still move on to learn new technologies that come down the road. And you really aim to make every single case as perfect as possible. You take pride in your work. And this is the best phase because you truly enjoy your craft. There's no fear there. There's no worries about complications because whatever happens, you know you're going to handle it. You'll always give the patient your best. You'll do what's best for the patient. And the patient will have a fantastic outcome. So now in the background, as you watch me do this routine cataract case, which went very quickly and very beautifully, but most importantly, very exactingly. That's the exact rexus that I want. That's the exact incision that I want. The lens centration is perfect. We'll put a little bit of medicine in the eye, a little triamcinolone, seal up the incisions, call this a day. This patient had a beautiful outcome. And more importantly, I loved doing it. Thank you for watching.